So I wanna start off this segment by speaking this truth, and we're gonna go ahead and put this as text on screen as well, because I really wanna make sure this resonates with you, okay? Your life is interesting and it has value. A lot of times when I'm talking to people who are interested in beginning to create content or tell stories online, they'll say things like, my life is boring, or I don't do cool things. It's all about perspective. I've made stories about very simple things that have resonated with those who watched. Walking along the river walk and reminding people to relax, or documenting that I, it rained and I made tea. It's all about your perspective. Look around your space and think about your routines. Think about how you can use them to change your perspective on your daily life. Don't be afraid to experiment with where and how you post your project. Remember, this should be fun. The world is your oyster. We are not confined to this mortal plane. The internet is an ever expanding galaxy. You get the points. My name is Benjamin Lowy. I am a New York based photographer. I photograph a variety of things, be it in conflict zones, features, sports. To me, it's all about making images and telling stories. Because there's always a new way to see the world. There's always something you haven't seen. But there's also, you know, just in your own life, in my own house, there's always some way I didn't photograph something, something I didn't see until that point. I mean, that's what life is, is experiencing things. And photography is just, well, recording those experiences. And every day is something new. Most photography works really well in cliche. You wanna, you wanna show people something that they've seen before, and then you wanna introduce something new to it. And that, I mean, that's how you start developing your style, is, is, is um, by introducing yourself into it. But ultimately, photography works it's superficial in general because it's what's in front of you. It is what it is. You're not getting any deeper than that. So how do you show people what they expect to see, something that they can easily digest, that's not super complex, um, but that shows it to them in a new way. And sometimes it's an angle, sometimes it's a composition, sometimes it's an optical illusion, you know, reflections, whatever. I mean, there are all different ways to photograph. Like, instead of photographing a building, you photograph a reflection of a building. You know, it's, it's, it's just like, how can you present the world in a way that people can understand it, but also that showcases your own heart? Because that's the most important part. And that's pretty much the difference between taking a picture and making a picture, is when you take a picture, oh, you're just taking it, it's right there in front of you. When you make a picture, you're constructing it. And you're putting a little bit of yourself into the art form. Putting a little bit of your soul. I'm gonna be very, very real. I started making videos in 2010 because I was a sad person. That is the truth. I literally posted my first video because in 2010 I discovered YouTube and it was during a time where I felt very alone in life. And I didn't feel like I had any type of community. I didn't feel like anyone could relate to my struggles in life. And so without much thought, I posted a video on this very new platform at the time, YouTube. Whenever I wanted to feel so boring, today I'm gonna to teach you how to tie a side door lip up, or at least my version of a side door lip up. I think it got like 70 views. But I was blown away by the fact that it got 70 views. I didn't know 70 people, and so I thought, the internet must work. But what happened when I posted this video is, I found a community online. You know, Whether it was one or two comments, it was people saying, I can really relate to this. And also, it's, it's so nice to see a fellow brown girl having these thoughts and feelings. And so that really encouraged me to make a second and third video. It was never intended for me to ever make two videos a week. It was never intended for me to make consistent videos. I just posted one and went with the flow. From that point on, as I started to garner more and more views, and when I say that, I mean 70 to 80 to 90, I by no means was a product of a viral video. I started to experiment. Every brown guy asked, what the hell is going to mind that brown Today. I have no formal training in comedy. I never went to an art school, but I just liked telling jokes. So I did a comedy video and it was that video called Official Guide to Brown Girls, which I think was my first video to go into the thousands. And I remember sitting in my friend's living room, watching TV and my phone was going bing, 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 bing. And that's when I knew like, this could be something. So I went from a place of knowing nothing to today me sitting here in front of you knowing 
some things. And my approach today is honestly a combination of both time periods. It is remaining authentic. So yes, I know now how to use a camera. I know now how to edit. I know now how to script. But for me, the key to everything is still storytelling. I believe story always comes first. And so regardless of how fancy the camera is and what editing software you have, and if the script didn't have the underline and the proper capitalization, I still believe story comes first. At my core, I've always been a storyteller. I started off with television. I had my own art show on TV. And after that, I transitioned to YouTube and I used to make DIY videos on YouTube. When I started making my own content, I was very excited. This was not a show on a channel, but I had my own channel. I had more control and more freedom, but I didn't know how to reach out to the right audience. I started making my content uh, more real, more relatable. Um, the audiences were forgiving of the mistakes. You know, in a way, you and the audiences are learning and growing together. And that's a great process. What I've learned from this journey is that if you have stories to tell, and if you have an interesting way to tell that story, people will watch it no matter what platform it is on. So adaptability is key for a creator. Yeah, maybe the structure might change or your storytelling techniques might change a little. Learning new things, tweaking your structure to be able to share a story in the best, most entertaining way possible is super important. This shifting also helps you to stay relevant, keep up with what the audiences want. I always knew that I wanted to make videos about art. It's something that I have truly always been passionate about. And the best way to find out what you are passionate about is to see where you invest your time. Think about what you love madly. What inspires you? What is the story you want to tell? See, it's always important to have a personal story. You could be a, a dancer, a musician, a chef. As a chef, you can easily make instructional videos, but making a video about your grandmother's recipe makes it a lot more interesting because now it's a personal connect that your audience gets to have with you. This edge can make your content stand out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.